Hey, what's going on, guys? Terribly Tactical, and here it is. I promised you guys an EDC bag video, uh, what I carry in my EDC bag, the bag I'm using, and I actually switched it up. I was in Walmart the other day grabbing some ammo. As always, you got to sit there and wait for like 30, 40 minutes until someone can help you. So I was looking around. I look around at the knives, the flashlights, you know, see if they got the ammo that I want, see if they got anything I might need. Head over to the camping section, see if there's any useful little bug out bag items or survival stuff. And I usually don't even look at their backpacks whatsoever. Um, <clears throat> most of them are like off brand or like this brand, the, the outdoor products. Uh, I think it's a Walmart brand or, you know, something like that. Um, it's definitely not a 5.11 or a Maxpedition or a VanQuest or anything like that. But I saw this pack. And it caught my eye because it's kind of tactical looking, don't you say? And most of the packs that they have are just like hiker packs, little camping packs. Um, you know, the run of the mill, you know, they're like neon orange and blue and this, that, and the other thing. And this caught my eye because it was OD. And these little red pull tabs kind of drew my eye to it. And it was kind of just laying there, you know, <clears throat> in the midst of, of a bunch of other packs that were kind of thrown all over the place. Um... And I saw it, and I picked it up, and I started looking at it, and I was pretty impressed. And it didn't have a price. I couldn't find the hook that it fell off of, so I didn't know how much it was. So I was waiting and, you know, got up to the counter finally with my ammo, and I had him do a price check on it to see if I'd grab it. And it was $24.99 for this bag. 25 bucks, guys. And we're going to get into it, and I'm going to show you, you know, how I have it set up for my EDC but I'm also going to give you a little bit of an overview of the pack and its features and stuff. Uh, let you guys check it out because I looked and there's maybe one or two videos of this pack on YouTube as, as I speak right now. And I don't know if it's because it's a newer pack or, you know, people just aren't interested in it or whatever. But I'm pretty impressed with it so far. And uh, <clears throat> 25 bucks. And from what I understand from watching one of the other videos is that it's actually even cheaper online at Walmart.com. It's only 20 bucks. So if you're doing some online shopping with Walmart and you need a pack like this, check them out, man. 20 bucks. It's the Outdoor Products Quest Day Pack. 29.4 liters and it's hydration compatible. And then it shows you, you know, some of the features and stuff on there, which I'll show you in depth in this review. Although it's not really a review, it's kind of just my EDC bag, but uh, we'll show you. And, you know, it does have a lifetime warranty. And, I mean, for 25 bucks, I mean, you can't beat that. So we'll get into it. First of all, it's OD Green. Uh, the, one of the videos that I watched showed this in black, so they at least have black and OD as far as the colors go. They may as well offer, like, some kind of brown or coyote tan or something like that. I would assume so, but I haven't seen them. This is the one I saw. Um, it's got molly all over the bag, which is great. Um, <clears throat> pocket here, this is for the uh, Nalgene bottles. It will fit the boiling cup and a Nalgene bottle in here. I just have my stainless in there because that's like a two-in-one. It's not as big, so I use the uh, the cinch down strap to kind of keep it in place. It's got these lashing, uh, the cordage for lashing on, on the outside. It's made for trekking poles, they say, but you could put any number of things on here, you know, a bedroll, sleeping bag. I don't know if it's strong enough to hold a rifle or something, maybe a little 1022 takedown something of that sort the material itself it's got to be at least 500 or 600 denier it seems sturdy it seems like it's quality i mean you can't expect too much quality for 25 bucks however for 25 bucks i'm, I'm pretty impressed uh it's got molly all over the stitching on the molly as well as the rest of the pack um seems really well done it's not fit and finished you know there's a little thread hanging off in certain spots you know it's not fit and finished as well as a Maxpedition or a 511 or anything like that but you know again for the 25 bucks I'm very impressed it's got a nice sturdy grab handle up here exterior pocket right there <clears throat> more molly on the side this little out outside pocket right here which is much bigger than than it appears uh, from the outside it's got a chest strap on the shoulder pads the pads is actually the pads are actually quite nice. I didn't expect them to be this nice. They're solid. They're firm. They're squishy. You know, they seem like they're 
their quality for especially for the money again you got more mesh padding back here uh, to allow air and you know keep the sweat off your back and stuff as well as keep it comfortable and uh, they have these rings on both sides of the the straps and that's to put your water bladder through the hose because it is hydration compatible get to the top it's got the exterior it's got um, an interior pocket and then a larger main compartment then at the top has a nice little sunglasses pouch with real nice smooth microfiber-esque lining I just got a pair of shooting glasses in there and uh, these tabs I'm really impressed with these tabs the zippers are not YKK but they seem quality they seem like they move really nicely um, these tabs it's not paracord it's some kind of stretchy shot cord type of deal but these tabs are solid and uh, they're they're red so you can see them identify them easily and be able to get to them it really helps it's a really nice feature people are gonna say oh well why have an OD green bag if you got the red hanging off of it you know you're gonna be spotted this that, and the other thing I get it um, you know this is kind of small and in the woods I mean it's mostly green it really shouldn't matter that much um, but it could stick out you could paint them you could take them off completely and then they're just gonna be zippers but um, you know that's up to you but to me this is my EDC pack so it doesn't really matter what color it is um, if they had a black one I probably would have got the black but the OD is nice and I do actually like the way that it looks with the with the green and the red it's a nice little accent makes it pop but uh, we'll get into it. So there's this little uh, <clears throat> tent for your zipper right here, and that keeps water out. It's a nice little garage for the zipper. Uh, nice, nice, easy seal on that. Uh, it's easy to get out, and it's going to keep rain and stuff out of there. So we'll go into the, the first compartment here. It's a flat pocket. Uh, you can put maps and stuff in here if you're using this at, as a hiker or a bug out bag. I just got a couple little pieces of gear in there. Um, it is cold out right now, so I'm using my mechanics. These are the... Uh, the fast fits and uh, you know they're they're a good pair of gloves and you know in case I got to work on something or you know I just need a pair of gloves because it's cold if I need a pair of gloves for shooting you know if I'm running an AK or something um, I have them and then so <clears throat> lighter in here just a little Bic lighter always good to have an extra one of those then I keep a bunch of my cards for my holster sponsor which is Grease Monkey Industries and uh, here's his information I've done a video on his products before go check it out uh, there's that and uh, hit him up he's on Facebook Instagram he's got his website all the information's right there so you could pause the screen you know screenshot it and uh, check him out he's got some solid gear that he makes I really like it shout out to him and uh, that's really all that is in this outward compartment because it's kind of a a smaller compartment I mean it's not small it's it's relatively decently sized but you want to keep that stuff flat so it's not bulging out so I just got some some quick easy stuff I might need to grab you know the gloves the cards if I'm handing it to somebody and the lighter if I need that obviously you see my stainless water bottle in there and then <clears throat> at the top I already showed you the sunglasses that I have in the sunglass pouch in this compartment over here like I was saying, it's much bigger than you would expect it to be. Um, you could put a lot of stuff in there. Right now, this is my juice pocket for my vape. I keep all my bottles of juice in here. It's nice. It's on the outside. I could get to it quickly if I got to refill my vape. I only got the one bottle in there right now because I took the other one out. I was refilling, but that's what I use that for. It's a nice pocket. I like the way that this bag is set up. Uh, it's got these little lashes right here. You could attach some things to. There is no grommet or drain hole on the bottom of the pack so that might be something that uh, turns you guys off especially if you're doing a lot of stuff in the outdoors um, but you know again 25 bucks guys you know what I'm saying so so here we're gonna use the uh, the pull tabs and, and show you the bag open I do really like the uh, interior organization that they have uh, it's actually pretty nice it doesn't completely clamshell or anything like that so you know you kind of got to be in it you know looking around and stuff but we got a nice big solid mesh pocket right here the mesh seems of decent quality it's not like super flimsy or anything and I really do like that in here I got a bunch of stuff I got a wall charger a cord for my phone a portable battery charger a Swiss Army knife Victorinox multi-tool I got a Lansky knife sharpener 
another Bic lighter, some spare AAA batteries for this Bushnell Pro Series 50 lumen AAA light, some Carmex, you know, simple EDC, EDC stuff, stuff that I use every day that I want to have on hand in case I need it because I usually do. Uh, just some good simple items to have, keep in there. You know, they don't take up that much room. It's not a lot of weight. And uh, in here, this is more of my tactical pocket. This, uh, it's got some, some pen holders. I have a pen and a Sharpie. Always good to have. I have a Glock 19 in here. This pocket, you know, does have a little Velcro strap. You could fit like an iPod or a phone, something in there, whatever you want. Obviously, you could put whatever you want in these pockets. Um, then there's pockets behind these pockets in the front. And then there's this mesh pocket right here. In here, I have my Glock 19. And then two extra magazines fully loaded in this little mesh pocket. It's it's easy to get to, and, you know, it, it's elasticy, so it stretches, so, you know, it, it's easy to get your hand in there if you need to. Um, this is my off-body carry for what I'm carrying in the bag, and, you know, just, just to transport it around, just have it with me, and then I'll have usually my Ruger LCP in a pocket because it's cold, it's wintertime, and it's a lot more discreet. I could already have my hand on the gun with my hands in the pockets, and nobody would know the difference. So that's my on-body carry, and then off-body, I always like to have a, you know, a bigger, more suitable gun to fight with in case the situation arose. Obviously, if I had to bug out, I do have some kind of survival um, kit in here that I, I could be able to use to get home or, or bug out or whatever I need to do. So it's kind of like an everyday carry type of bag, but it also has, you know, some survival stuff. You know, I got the, the Victorinox, you know, I got the flashlight, the knife sharpener, just stuff I might need for every day or, you know, for whatever purpose. Then down in the bottom, I got my first aid kit from Adventure Medical Kits, as well as, you know, some other stuff. I have a space blanket, uh, ace bandage, supplemental bandages and some pills and wipes and stuff for this first aid kit. Um, I did a video on this a while back. I have since then added more things to it, um, but it's a pretty in-depth uh, first aid kit. I really like it for the money. You can't really beat it. And, uh, you know, the spa space blanket helps for obvious reasons. You know, it's cold. People could be in shock. You could break down on the side of the road, you know, whatever it may be. So that's that's pretty much for this pocket. Um, that's it for this pocket. I like the organization. I like the way it's laid out. This works perfectly for the Glock. It holds it in there. Gives it a little bit of retention with the Velcro. And so that's that. Quick, easy look at that. And, uh, you know, I am really impressed with this bag. I do like it a lot. And for the money, you really can't go wrong. I mean, just to have an extra pack... Or to have a pack for your family or something. In here in the main compartment, I kind of left mostly empty. Because I don't really want to make this too heavy. Because it's an EDC pack. I take it everywhere I go. It's in and out of the house. In and out of the car. And I don't want it, you know, to weigh me down with a bunch of crap that I don't really need. You know, I have my bug out bags with a bunch of gear. My survival bags. My fighting bags. I have a, a dedicated uh, car kit bag that's got tools and stuff in there. But this, I just, you know, the necessities, I got some wipes, you know, clean yourself up. I got the Mora Light My Fire, fire starting uh, capabilities with the flint in the handle, and Mora's are great knives. Got this little uh, signaling device, and it's got a bunch of information and stuff on there for survival. It's like a tarp, you could use it as a shelter. Uh, you could definitely flag someone down with this if you're lost or stranded on the side of the road. It's got a lot of useful survival information on it. In the bottom, I got a hank of paracord. Uh, this is probably about 30, 40 feet. It's a little, you know, jumbled up, but it's always good to have extra cordage in there. Uh, a little fishing kit in here, as well as some lifeboat matches. That's always good to have, just in case. And, you know, I'm always going fishing, uh, not now in the wintertime, but, you know, it does help to have, you know, extra hooks and stuff. Got some duct tape on a credit card, because obviously duct tape is always useful for a multitude of reasons, whether it be medical, survival, just fixing something up on the car just to get it home. Uh, pack extra coils for my vape. 
And what else do we got down here? I got something else down here. Oh, there we go. Then I got my little survival kit in a can by Coglins or Kuglins or whatever. It's got a bunch of stuff on there. Uh, if it'll focus, you'll be able to read that. There we go. You could take a look at that. For the nine bucks that this was or whatever, it's useful. It's got a lot of stuff in there in a very compact package. And then you could obviously use the uh, the tin as a plate or some way to boil water or whatever you need to do um, for that. It's another good container. And then I have my SOL bivy which again um it's better than just a mylar blanket it's bigger you could get in there and actually sleep it's very cold right now where i live so if i did get stranded somewhere i have this and i should be all right throughout the night especially with everything else that i got so that's pretty much it for the contents of the bag and as far as the bag itself i just got this i just started using this as my edc um, it's one of my EDC bags. It depends on what I'm doing, where I'm going. Um, if I take this or one of the other bags that I have or my uh, Storm Gray 511 Rush Moab 10. And I will have another video coming up on the Rush Moab uh, shortly. It's, it's decked out with a bunch of cool EDC gear and stuff like that that I use, but it's a sling pack. I wanted more of a backpack just in case for, you know, longer trips if I'm hiking with it or whatever it may be. It's just good to have to, um, just good to have two straps sometimes. It's a quality pack from everything I'm seeing right now. I really like the organization on it, and for the 25 bucks, you can't beat it. So I, I would check them out if, if you're interested. And I will do a separate review of the pack itself in maybe a month or two or three. See how it's holding up. See, you know, if it really is as good as I think it will be. And uh, that's that, guys. Just wanted to give you a video, show you guys what I'm carrying in my bag for EDC. Um, on top of my on-body EDC that I have, you know, in my pockets, in the holster, stuff like that. And uh, this is with me every day. So that's my EDC bag. This is Terribly Tactical, reminding you to stay safe, stay armed, always be prepared, and don't ever think about treading on me. Peace.